Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today we are setting up my new cloud, my Aura Estelle cloud, which is an A5 rings. So I'm going to be moving into the um, Lilac at Daydream that, with gold hardware that just came out of the pre-sale. And I'm moving out of my cream puff, which was from the original release. And in my A5 wide, I plan all of my um, weekly sticker kits and stuff. Yeah, and I have a bunch of other inserts, and there's a bunch that I just made that I also want to put into my new one. So, we have plenty of work to do. I don't know if this is too bright. Oh, wait. Okay, <laughs> I'm just going to stick to that. Alright, so, yeah. Let's get into it. We're going to be doing like a full setup here. Um, some tools that I got is a paper cutter. I've only got this A5 <laughs> size one. So I do have to like cut down because I print onto A4. So what I do is I cut the tops and bottoms off the paper and then I can actually cut out this. <laughs> but I've already done this to like, save you from all of that. And then I have the um, Recollections Michaels Mint mint um a uh, whole bunch for a5 so you want the mint one the gold one is only for personal size and not for a5 so pick yourself up the mint one um, and then we obviously have my old inserts and a bunch of new decorations and papers i'm using this deco kit for the six year plan of heaven and heaven anniversary six year anniversary plan of heaven deco kit from SPC for my new papers and I got also some no my scissors here some acetates from her shop that are general stars and bows I might use them <laughs> and then just have a bunch of stuff so yeah and these are all pretty old I wanted to kind of use some of them and I got a bunch of stuff in here too I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what we end up using. Um, this is, won't be a completed setup because um, we have a look here. I've got these side tabs, but I feel like they get bent in with, if you use two pens, and, sorry, if Heidi. <laughs> Heidi's in, um, hyper right now. But these side tabs get like bent in, like this one's all bent. So, um, I've actually ordered from Plan and Press some top tabs, which I think will be better, but um, they're obviously not in yet. So we're not going to be doing the tabs basically, like the main tabs, for now. So it's going to be a work in progress, but I feel like those are the best setups, the ones that are works in progress. I'll quickly show you what I have in my current one. We've just got some random items in the thing. Um, we got this picture, a uh, pretend Polaroid I did of my cat Heidi. She is nicknamed to Bum Queen because washi is dying. I didn't bring any washi with me. So that might be not good. <laughs> uh, we got some washi from the six year bundle so that's alright. We can use that. <laughs> Um, and then I'm just using more of these, um, this acetate from Scribble Prints Co. and the Stars in Hollow, and then a metal deco piece from Happy Scrappy. Um, there's a whole video up on this setup I should add on my channel, um, so definitely go check that out. The first I have my monthly, and I can't really show it to you. No, because it has like kit plans and um, my money and stuff, but I, like my income, but I don't find that working for me, so I'm going to be changing that up. Then of course we have the weekly, which is just fine, that will be moving across. And one tip that I did was I put in the rest of the year, and if you can't really tell, but I put in pencil the date numbers on every sheet. So now they're technically dated, um, which would be great. Let me these pens out. Um, yeah, so now I know what each week is for. Then this one was a future log, like this. But you're going to find that I printed off a new copy. Um, 
to use in my next planner. So I'm not going to bring this one across. I was using this to plan um, sales and kit ideas and the customs I had to be doing and all sorts of stuff. But we're going to change that up as well. And then we had shopping, which is my order tracker that's staying the same. Just using this any plans printables. Um, and then the last one, I was planning my kits out here, but I think I'm going to rewrite this because it's looking a bit bleh. And I had a fitness log here, which was lol. <laughs> I'm going to put it in my new one, but I'm, yeah, we'll see. Then I just have an A5. Um, page lift in here from Foxy Fix. Uh, yeah, so. Do I want to take everything out just yet? I think I do. Just to like, the things that I will be taking out. So. What I'm going to be taking out is my weekly. My main planner. So let's grab all of this. So yes, it can fit an entire year in there. This is it so far. So we've got six months and then this will be turned into that. So I think once the year is over and I just have these in here to store, it'll be all good. So that is really nice. That is the whole kit and caboodle. Um, let's just do these over. Um, no, I'm not taking that future log with me. I'm going to have to look through some of these pockets and things. I will be taking the auto tracker, but I don't think I need... Okay, I do need this page. So I might just take the pages that I need with me. Put it with this stuff. I don't need that page anymore. Alright. Uh, We'll go through these in a second. I want to rewrite this and we'll add the fitness log because cool, we'll get around to it, alright? I got some plans to work out, so um, we'll do it. And of course, we're going to take the page left in. So, uh, let's just empty this out just so it doesn't get like weird in storage. So, let's take off. The washi tape that's I stick things in. I uh, don't think I'll be using that, but here's my business card. I need to make a new one though. Yeah, I'll probably make a new business card because it's fairly old art now. Mm -hmm, I'm going to take any of this stuff. I was planning to go like, because this other one, the metal has gold in it. But I'm not that huge a fan of gold, but we'll see. We'll keep a lot of this stuff going. So it's just there. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take all of this, but the pocket stuff. I kind of do want that and that. And this one and this one. Don't want to keep any... Um, We'll keep the washi in that one. What about here? No, we'll, we'll keep all that that way. Okay, so. We've emptied it. Let's put the original to the side. And then let's bring out the new baby. Oh, so beautiful. Probably don't need this. Uh, I think I've taken everything out else out of here. So yeah, this is what we're working with. It is gold instead of silver. So that's why I was thinking of going gold with the metal. We shall see. Um, I think the gold rings feel a little less put to like you know intense than um, you know. <laughs> What am I saying? I'm just going to pull this to the front. Um, and then have my planner at the back. I think that's what I'm going to do because these are more like 
actually getting to its stuff. So let's have a look. With the future logs, this is just any printables. And this is where I actually want to put in my income and any big expenses. So the first two pages are useless, um, but I want to have like that there. So we're starting in July, just but I'll, I'll go back and put in the income from the first half of the year because the finish finance, financial year is, I think, February to January. So yeah, I want to have that all stored away for 2020. Taxes. All right, so this is just setting up printables. I feel like, like nothing is staying in. Um, I'm going to just get out of this menu for a second. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm just still trying to get used to this new camera. Um, but these other inserts are just certainly printables goals. And what she does is she's had, she has a few pages of the monthly goals. Once again, I needed the front for all of 2020 in here, even though I'm just going to be using it from August has these monthly goals and then each month is broken down into the weeks so I thought that was really good I took out a bunch of superfluous ones so it jumps to August so I'll ignore that January page but here is where I want to plan my um, art sets so I'm planning like what am I going to release in this month or what holidays are coming up as well that maybe I should draw for or types and then in the individual weeks, I will put like what I have to achieve that week to get those releases done. So that's what I'm using that for. And then I've just got these note pages, which we're going to do a new version of my kit tracker in. I just find it easy because this way I can see the whole year in one go. And then I just got a few other note pages, um, just a couple more that I can use. Then I printed off one of her self-care from She Has a Bundle of Self-Care. And this one is the weekly tracker. So I thought I might try this out for August. I'm trying to actually do these per week. So you got a bunch of like morning, afternoon, evening, bedtime tasks. I don't know what this is for down here. Maybe if you like completed like all of these per day. And you have acts of self-care meals and reflection so we'll see how that goes uh, you never know I, pr I printed off enough for the month for one month and then I have my shopping tracker um, which is self-explanatory and once pages are done I, I just take them out and then we're going to put the fitness log in here because we're going to use it, I promise. Maybe we should put the fitness log with the um, self-care stuff. Yeah, it's like part of the fitness. Okay. Alrighty. So then we go to the shopping and now this is where the big kahuna will go in. My baby. My 2020 planner. So we're gonna just put this in here in sections. I just think it'd be easy to keep it all in here so they're not on the desk while we're cutting up stuff. Which um, subsequently I'll be doing. Okay. There we go. And we are gonna put um, a dashboard on the back here to protect this page. And then of course we'll have the page lifted so it won't get bent. So that'll be good. So that means we need two dashboards for the actual planner. So you can see I already sort of rewrote it. Let's just move this up. Okay, so two times planner. And remember we're just going to do like decorative dashboards for now and then when those other tabs come in they're also going to slot in here as the main like source for turning pages so we need something in the front so one front then we have the future log and maybe we'll separate that out with the monthly goals 
one monthly goals. This will be a maybe. <laughs> we'll see how much like cobble we have like from the you know papers that we have. Um, and then we'll have the kit planning and notes. And then maybe we'll do self-care as its own section, starting with fitness. And then we'll just use like a clip for the week that we're on there. And then we're going to do one for shopping. We'll try and do this. I don't think we ha I have enough um, papers. We'll see. One. Shopping. Maybe we could bring papers in from the old setup. So, all together we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, four, five, seven. So let's have a look. I'm gonna put this to the side. I'm going to open this up. We might be able to make one of the, the um, middle, some of the middle parts just acetate. That could be something to do. Let's put all the deco to the side. I'm probably going to get one of each of these. So, one, two, three, four, five, and we have six. So, yeah. Um, and obviously definitely the two we definitely need the two around the platter for stability. Um one goes like that. And then we have this one. Yep. Alright, so I had them in order, so let's have a look. So we got two blue ones which we want to put around but then we have a sort of matching purple one here so like that that also separates that cloud and that cloud but what do I want on the front do I want the inks or do I want like the marble uh, like the purple marble or the rainbow uh, color marble but then I feel like that's too I think the inks will go in the front, but maybe I will do um, this side of the ink, so less blue. I think that's what I'm going to do. So what I do is, um, yeah, I'm going to discard a page here. So yeah, the A5 white is the tiniest, a bit taller than, well, I assume these are letter sized. Um, it's the tiniest bit taller, but... I know, I feel like the dashboard still work in there, being slightly slimmer, but that's just my preference. I don't really mind it. So what I'm going to do is line it up. Um, I'm going to use like a standard clip rather than a decorative one. Alright, we're going to use a clip here on this side just so it holds in place and we're going to a chop a doo chop make sure it's still in place that pushed it a little make sure it's straight and then we're going to write a little bit over because oh that didn't really go over but there we go we have our dashboard size so when it goes over the top it's just a little bit shorter, but once it's barely noticeable. So, yeah, alright, I'm going to do the rest of these and I'll be right back.
Alright guys, this is the cards done. Um, my only main tip for you is not to cut yourself because I did. <laughs> I don't know if you guys would have noticed uh, when I did because it zoomed up. But I was pulling some of the paper out of here and went but just the lightest little touch of that blade. And um, I needed a band-aid. <laughs> it didn't bleed too much because um, I kept working through it. But it needs some pressure on it because it stinks. So, <laughs> don't do what just does. <laughs> so I have these offcuts here which could be useful. We'll keep those. Um, and then I'm thinking, because I do need seven, I think I'm... Oh, but I want to put one of these on the front because they're gems and they're beautiful. And I drew them and now they're beautiful acetates. So, let's make this. And... It's really nice the manufactured acetates get printed all the way to the edge so you can just pop them in. You also have this here now which we could make a um, like a bookmark out of if we want to. We have this much of it left. We'll put it in our little stockpile there. But we can make bookmarks out of that stuff. But yeah, so we'll have this on the front of the planner, I think. Oh, wouldn't that look really, really cute? And then we might put some art in here. Uh, maybe a vellum. We'll see. We'll see. But that means we do want to do one extra acetate for this seventh. Which we could probably put between the with the kit planning notes, like after the monthly goals maybe. Or before self care, or before shopping, one of those ones. So we could put in the silver gems that also came, but we also have these stars and we have the bows. Um, I always love stars the most, honestly, over bows. <laughs> um, now I've used obviously the holographic in my other planner, but I have gold, silver, and rose gold because it comes in a pack of three. So we could just continue the gold acetate and then bring in like hollow um, elements elsewhere. I should probably say like what is the theme of this? Um, I'll look at the gold and silver together. That's kind of pretty. You can't really see it yourself. I'm just going to do the gold. Let's not go over the top here. <laughs> so we're going to put the silver back in. Okay, we're going to put these, this one back into here for storage purposes. Now I could, you know, cut them all up now into A5, but I've learned that that's not a good idea because before I moved, and it was a good idea for moving because I cut down a whole lot of bulk, but I cut up all of my subscription kits into personal wide size because I do have a personal wide rings. So if you're interested in that, there are videos on the channel. Um, I really like my personal wide ring setups. I have some really good stuff, personal wide rings, but uh, obviously I'm an A5 wide at the moment. <laughs> so, and I, I learn from me and not, add, and, you know, mess that up. And uh, now I can't use any of that stuff for this setup, so. Uh, so this is going to be the planner ones here. Do I want to switch a purpley? Because we could switch it like this. Sorry, like that. Alright, so that's the planner ones. And then the ones before the planner we have is shopping. So we'll put the stars in between the shopping and then the rest of this will be because the shopping is, isn't as important. Yeah, I think so. So this is the way they're going to go in. So now we just need to hole punch them. And with this one and these thicknesses, I would do one a sheet. So I'm just going to be right back. Okay, these are all done. So let's move back to the planner. Because I like to work in the planner. I know some people, like, they get it all set up and then they put it in as they go, but I like to work in the planner just so I can see what I'm 
doing. So it's quite thick when you get the actual planner in. But the um <clears throat> the plus size is plus plus side is you can take all this stuff out if need be to make room. Alright, so that's the two front ones for now. We'll think about what, what we're gonna do with those. So now we want to go to yes here in the goals section. We're gonna put in this one. Then that's the end of the goals. Yeah. Actually, because we have this really cute dot in front of the really cute bows, sorry, in front of this, maybe the gold stars will work. It kind of looks cute with it. All right, we'll put that there so you can appreciate the designs. Um, and then we'll have a work out here. Work out and self care together. Maybe I'll just do a separate tab to this different one. So now we got shopping. And that's more separated. And here we go, the main planner. I think purple on the front would be nicest. And what's on the back here, it's actually pretty similar to the blue, so I think that works together well. So that'll protect this page here as well, as long as the as well as the page protector. Okay, we're getting with we're, we're thick. <laughs> That's mostly just the um, sticker planner. Sorry, having some water. All right. So let's go through the front pocket, shall we? We got a bunch of stuff here. So okay, what did I say earlier? I was talking about theme before I cut my finger. Um, I've also got some of those. Target dollar spot um, sticky pockets. Of course, you can get them from rose colored days and stuff as well. You don't need to get those anymore. Um, I got a bunch of stuff in here too. Alrighty. And I really like this pocket that I got from Less Than Misfit. That's really cute. Um, yeah, I want to use this in some way. It's going to suck slow because you can't see the full name. This stick out really far. So we'll see what we can do with that. Okay. Now I do have this um, from No Wise Be Stickers. It's like a washi card with annual planner holder. And obviously it fits perfectly in the card pocket. Theme! Oh my god, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> So I was kind of doing like, I brought out some autumn and Halloween stuff, but then I also just have some like standard things for like uh, Disney and cute stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. So I'm kind of going to mix it all together. It's not going to be a straight up full setup, but I do love full stuff. So these clips, I think all of them that I'm bringing in are from Little Miss Daisy Rose. Uh, and I remember that I had a huge collection of these that I was not putting into use, but I could use them in the front pocket, you know. I don't like them sticking up because they're a bit too big. But I think they'll be great in this front pocket. Um, <clears throat> so we have a little ghost with a pumpkin spice latte. I think I really want to use this one. Then we have a little Frankenstein Hello Kitty, little mini purple bow. We have... This one might not get used, the Mickey pumpkin, because it's super bright orange. Whereas these are like soft orange, we have a little leaf and a little dirty pumpkin. So I think these are the... Th Am I going to use all of these in here? <laughs> I mean, the thing is, we could. Okay, and this is where the offcuts come in handy. Uh, I get the paper I dislike the most. So, yeah, you can cut that down. Do, do, do. Get the pen. Okay. 
Yeah. Rather than get the death trap cutter out, let's just snip it across because you won't be seeing this. So I think both of these pockets are the same, so. Alright, and then we can cut these in half for this pocket. And then, so what we're doing here is because these are nice firm cardboard, is, I turn it the nice way up. I'm going to put the pumpkin up here because this is very purple. What you do is you stick it in. So then you don't have to like put marks here, um, like the paper clip marks on here, but like they're a bit more sturdy than if you just stuck them in it by themselves. So yeah, I like that. Um, we're going to put a bow in here. Well, let's like think about where we want to put this stuff. Because we have the orange there, maybe we can put those together. And then we have other stuff around them. Okay, I like the way that looks. So we're going to put Hello Kitty on there, and then we just stick them in. Let's see. You don't see the paint, the cobble, but they don't go flinging around. <laughs> Because you don't want that. Alright, so we're going to put this in the middle here. Depends on the, you might have to put some of the clips inwards. But, it works nonetheless. Maybe move some of it down, okay. Don't have it complete. Okay, there we go. Now they're like in there. All right, I think they're really, really cute. This is zooming on the I like little work that we're doing. How cute are those? Oh, I love it. I love that I'm finally using these. I have banned from myself from buying any more of these because I could literally buy tens of millions of them. Tens of millions. So I think we still have to put Bum Queen in here, so she's going to go a bit over the pumpkin, but I think that will be okay. Now we're going to wash her down a bit behind, behind, it's not going to stick perfectly, but actually when you think about it, we could, oh, come up a little cup of paper. Okay, that's there. I want her like here. Will that work? I think that'll work. So let's stick her in properly. We just want everything. Okay, so the way I like to set up stuff is I like it to be cemented in. I don't want things slip and sliding around and they kind of were in my last setup so I'm excited to get this properly you know secure oh I show you yes my little baby is in there maybe you can put the pumpkin on top no we're just messing it up Okay, so now the little bum queen is in there. Um, yeah, there we go. And they just have a little pumpkin sticking out, so you get some layering. This is really, really cute. Maybe you could put this in this side. Just like a little pen sticking out. Um, we mostly want tall stuff for this one now. Well, we want to still be able to see things though. Oh, yeah, so I have these tabs from no white space no white space stickers so I might put these on um on those inserts um just to sort of separate them these are a wide wide stuff might decorate that elsewhere get some stickers Get some stuff with my partner, but 
Maybe we can put that there. It is really cute. I did my pictures of my um, spread. Only this part will really be seen. So I think that'll be okay. Hmm. It just depends on what else I want to put in here. Do I want to put in this Dr. Pepper? It makes it a lot fuller. More full. We also have the Romeo and Michelle, but you won't be able to see it from there. La la la. We have this pen. Where are the pens in here though? Kind of want the Dr. Pepper then. So I think we're going to have to stick it to our card. It's like there, you're not moving. <laughs> happening probably sorry I probably just cut myself out there just move it okay okay all right what am I doing okay I think that's it I think that's what we're doing step away from the pocket Jess <laughs> step away sorry if I'm having some weird cuts here but hard to like wrap your head around what you're doing. Now where was the other thing that I had? I don't think this is gonna fit in. I don't know what else to put in the front here. Oh, maybe her. Oh yeah, I like that. She's sticking out there. I don't think she needs to be stuck down. She's pretty like in there. This is from an anime called Love Live. She's just a cute little devil version of her character. Um, she's a bit silly. Uh, I kind of like it. Maybe because it's going to be seen in photos. No, it covers up Heidi. So we'll stick her in here with the leaf. Yeah, I feel like that. So we're going to put it in here, guys. Put it in here. Maybe I need to stick that there as sort of a background. That is a full pocket though. What did you guys think? That could be good though. Like that. Let's see how it like opens and closes. <laughs> oh yeah, you just flip it open and you have all this crud here. I love it. Oh, I already just messed it up. But flinging it. <clears throat> because it's because this isn't like attached. Maybe you can just stick under there. Now hold it in better. Okay, I think that's alright. Is that? Oh gosh. Okay, I think that's it. Alright. Let's step away. Step away from. Step away from the side. Okay. Now I'm going to focus on the other stuff. Wee! Alright. It's going to be a long video, guys. I apologize. Although maybe you're into that, so you're welcome. Um, alright. I got these from Indian Ivy Ink. And I want to use it. 
I don't know how like 100% they go. I really wanted to add this one like to the front here. I was hoping she'd be printed on white, but she's printed on marble. So it makes it a little bit cloudy. But she kind of looks really cool there, right? Hmm. Because I want some of the paper to come through. I just don't think that fits properly. I feel like this is the like <laughs> fueled by spite is like me. Kind of want to put something like yeah, still work under there, but I kind of want to put something together from here. Maybe I can put in one of these Indian Ivy. This really cute die cut with the um, kitty. Cause that's also me. And maybe make it a little bit more ghosty. You could put like these three together. <gasps> okay, I like that. Stay there. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, okay, okay. We're gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this down and nothing's gonna move. Okay. Stop moving. <laughs> Stop it. Okay, we got the general idea. Alright. Feel by spite. The sparkly kitty. And the ghost toast. From the regions beyond. That's from No White Space Stickers. It's Indian Ivy Ink. And this is um, a printable in my shop. Kiddishgirl.net. So that is a free digital. Uh, not free, but personal use digital. How does that look? kind of like it. Could do something here maybe. And the gem. We're just going to leave it like this. Then we're going to leave it like this. And then you have the gem. And then you have the gems at the top. Okay. Then that's going to be the front cover, I think. A little washy play. <laughs> it creates a sort of border with the stardust. Does that look stupid? Mm, I don't know about that. I think the washi looks a bit silly. Ah, mm. uh, well, I think we're just gonna keep it here. Yeah, alright. Just gonna keep it simple. So, this would be the front. But I like that. Plus, remember, we're gonna work on it. <laughs> this is not gonna be it forever. So, we have the future log. Um, and because these don't have separate ones, oh, but they do. <laughs> Oh, uh, we can put a pocket on here. That might make it a bit more fun. Let's put the pocket the right way. Let's put it in here, actually. So we got a pocket. I like now I can put the washi in here. So these laminated ones I made back in Australia. Um don't really have the power to laminate anymore. Put the crystal pen in there. That could be cute. Put these out here. Um <laughs> I have all this junk. I do have this. Thinking of using somewhere. 
Let's hmm. I think I might put this vinyl in here with these, maybe. Block too much of the washi. Hmm. I'm very uh, picky. How about this add to cart, but like, like that? Oh, I kind of like that. All right. But do I want to put then this little doodad here? I think I will. <laughs> this is from No Eyes Basic is the deco kit for the SVSP. This is from Elasni Cray Designs. Uh, just ask me a comment and I will link it to you because I'll probably be super lazy. And then this is from the Sticky Committee. It's a glittery vinyl. Just here to this pocket. Just add a little bit more gold in. Burr, burr, burr. Come on. I just have to take the transfer paper off. Come on. Gamma. Gamma. All right, all right, that was really fun in person. Like, you could really see it, like, it's super glittery. That looks really cute. I don't know if I can get the glitterness, um, but yeah, it's really nice and glittery. So, then we have the goals. We just have an acetate here. I just don't know where I'm gonna put this. It's a cute pocket. Maybe I could just punch it. <laughs> so. A little bit further up. Because this is just what less than this bit orders just come in, it seems. So I could probably just get another one bit order from her again. But. Okay, I like that. And then we have like a little, little pocket in here for stuff. So I've got like this from Lesser Misfit. And I got this little sticker sheet from Bare Necessities sticker code. So they could go in there. And then these can go in there after too. Oh my god, I really love that. And like it's some layering in here. And then we could put her under here. Would that be interesting? With some layering? Maybe she is a bit as a better. It depends on what this marble is going to go with. Okay, I'm just going to. Um, I think she might look best here because it's a white background. I'm just going to put this in here. I'm just going to punch it anyway. Just have it punched. So the, this, um, Vellum from Indian Ivy Ink is A5 size, so it's not as wide, obviously, but I think it'd be really cute as a layering pieces. As, and then this is slightly smaller, so you're like, yes, oh, yes. Then you get the girl here. Then you have the notes pages, which I think I will also put... Okay, so when I want to go through and put the tabs in afterwards, because I feel like that's the right thing to do. Maybe on this page we can put a girl. Like we could just layer in. Maybe. 
Which one do I want to put in? So I got to be on our bread of butter. And this is before the fitness and self care. So, um, bread on myself. I think I want this girl. She's probably my favorite. So. I don't think get it perfect. Since she's a little layering piece. Once again from Indian Ivy Ink. Oh, she's stunning. Cause I don't, I'm not a huge fan of that pattern in here, so I love that. That's cute. And then maybe, um, so you can actually use the fitness log we could attach all of this up here together and this is a I'm gonna use a pink black clip so this is from peach palm just a little black clip you can go up there and we'll keep us open to our fitness log yes and that also keep that there yes all right cool because that will remind us to do our fitness and our self-care. This is why we do the tabs after because we might put other things in there. And then this might move when I get the top tabs. So, okay, this is shopping. So we already had the add to cart, didn't we? Um, but, oh, we have this vinyl with the shopping. Yeah, I think I want to do this. I realized I had this pocket, but I could use in there, but you know, I'm not doing too much hollow in this. So I think, um, I have a smaller, normal one. I want the big vinyl. I'm going to stick this down first. That's going to be a base. Things stick a bit better on the, like this, on the cobble than it does the leather. So we got a little sticker machine. Is all I want on here, like that might just be cute enough by itself. We'll trade candy for planet goodies. And then this might make it like Halloween-y. Mm -hmm. No, I'm gonna just have that for the front of the um, shopping. All right, and now we get into the actual planner, which I kind of just want to keep it simple too. Maybe I'll put a pocket here as well. I'm going to put this in the center. Once again, the right way up. So this is how I do my setups, you guys. I'm just like, let's put some stuff in here. Hopefully I edited this properly so you're not like, kill me. <laughs> Have a room in Michelle Day. One of my favorite movies. I could put in my business card. Have a room in Michelle Day. Maybe I can stick this here. We'll put two on this one. And this is from Make a Mama, I think. So I think I like the way that is. And then this has its own stuff on here. I don't think there's any ones I want to add on here. So then we got the weekly planner. And I do have my bookmark from the last one. Which maybe I'll just keep it. Because it just goes like this. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep that one for now. So yeah, as you can see, I've penciled in all the dates for the whole rest of the year. So my plan is to use this set until the 3rd of January. And then I'm going to set all of this and put it into my cream puff for storage. Then I'm still going to use Oristel next year, but I'm going to get the calendar, monthly calendar um, inserts. And they actually insert into here, so they have these on the other sides of them. And I can put tabs on them, and then I'll have a full monthly planner for 2021. So this is just 
the way this is now. Um, I think that's alright. I kind of want to use this Disneyland. I just put that on the back. Keep it simple. But the fun thing is if you get like new dashboards or um, new vellums and stuff, you can just cut them and stick them right in. So that we get Disneyland to the back. And I don't tend to put anything in the back pockets. I just don't. So let's put this all to back to the front. And I do have this really cute, is it a pencil? It's like somewhat broken. Look. Yes, that was a pencil. Let's get this lead out of here. I kind of want to keep it broken almost. Alright. It just has really cute mechanical pencil from Tokyo. I think I have it on. Um, sorry, I have it on uh, manual, so let's put it on autofocus. Um, but it's just really, really cute, and I love the wings and the star. So I'm thinking I'm going to put this here as my decorative pen. Now, because that look just looks so cute. Yeah. I like that, uh, but, um, oh, even more bleds came out. Ah. Is it now empty of lead? Yes. You're just here for decoration. You obviously got broken in the move. Okay. Now we can put this in here. Adorable. Let's make sure this closes all properly. I don't want it to be like destroying stuff. Okay. Um. Yeah. So the only other thing I was thinking about was this black bow. Because I kind of wanted to bring in more black. Which was my issue. I don't know how that's gonna look. Let's have a look in the camera. I kind of like it, you guys. I'm gonna do it. I did it! Da! <laughs> this is like for SBC when she had these metal decals. Oh, and some matte black. Kind of sexy, you guys. Like, kind of like it. All right, <laughs> that's staying there. I'm always worried about my filming because every time I look up right now, it says that I've been filming for four minutes, like every single time. Okay. Now we're gonna do some tabbies. Should we put the tabs on the side so then they won't? Conflict when we get our top tabs in from Planet Press. I think that's what I'm going to do and um, those are going to be more general because I think I don't know how many there are in the group, but Okay But maybe marking off each of these by themselves would be good So I might just do each one as they start Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do that. Which side do I want to use this side first? And then switch to the other side. Yeah. The darker colors. Look at these cute little Mickeys. So then you get little Mickey heads. Don't want like a little... I don't want them sticking out too far because... Um, the tabs on the side before were getting ruined. Oh my god. Look at that little tiny Mickey. <laughs> it's freaking adorable. All right, so now I want to put one. That's a monthly. Now I want to put one in the goals. So I'm gonna put this dark, the next dark, a purple one, and we're gonna put it right here. And we're just having a little bit of ears up. You guys, look at these little ears. They're so cute. 
This is the goals. They have all this stuff here. <laughs> Alright, and now we're going to do the notes. I think I'm going to do a specific... Yeah, the front pages are going to be my kit planning, so... There you go. Those little ears in. And then... We do have these. And then we have... Well, that one's put together. So maybe I will undo that, just because it will be taken out when we um, do the top tabs. So now I'll do fitness. I don't mind the back, further back one sticking out a bit more because they kind of need to be seen more. So that's the fitness one, and then we want to put one on the self care. The self care, and then we put one on the shopping. Now the shopping will be taken out more than likely, so I'm going to put it on the actual thing, so it's not to waste the shell. Oh baby, okay. There we go. I think that's all the ones we're actually putting in, because then we get to the. Mo oh my god. If I ever focus. Oh my god, cute little Mickeys coming up the side. Alright. Okay. Alright, now that everything is set up. Seriously, this autofocus should be out of focus on this stuff. Now everything is set up. I'm actually going to cut this video into two parts. Because um, I'm going to actually set up some of my stuff on the inside. And I just realized I started doing it and it was taking a really long time. <laughs> and I didn't want the video too long. So if you want to see how I set up um, using this kind of, um, these inserts and stuff. Then please check out the next video that will be up in the next normal day. So I post Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. So whatever day it is today, that video will be the next one to go up um but i hope you like this don't forget to give it a big thumbs up uh let me know what you thought about the <laughs> process of setting up this planner it's a bit different when it's such a big planner you don't really you can fit a lot more decorations but do you really want to yeah i try to keep it simple-ish but i hope you guys enjoyed it anyway how have you been going with setting up your clouds if you have one um, if you have a video, I'd love to check it out. But otherwise, hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!